hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so hello everyone uh, so this is the 26th tutorial of our django series so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so let's get started with this tutorial so uh, you can download or clone this repository and i have defined below the instructions how you can run this project on your local machine like in the previous tutorial i also mentioned uh, i gave an overview how you can make the changes so you can you can look to my previous tutorial uh, on the instructions so let's get started with this tutorial so i would open my project so till now we had made uh, the uh, search bar with suggestions dynamically then we used to submit the uh, option value and then we used to uh, store the results in the global global dictionary so this is the global dictionary we have defined here and uh, i can ha have a quick overview uh, of this so here you can see this is our navbar so what we can do uh, i'll define a global dictionary here global count yes so here it is global count so when i run my project i'll refresh this page and let me check so oh, my server isn't running so i'll start my server python manage.py run server i'll refresh this page so here you can see my c language has one vote then perl uh, 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 like php yeah it has one vote then python one vote okay in the same way uh, i'll give sql one vote then i'll give a vote to an sql another vote so here it is two votes so in the same way we can keep on going with the server so this is python I'll submit with the so here it is two words so uh, this uh, so this works absolutely fine so the next part we are going to do is add tables with progress bar so basically what we are going to cover in this tutorial I show you here so we are going to add uh, add adding a table with progress bar now we are going to render the backend data to the front end with a table and a progress bar for every language we will add a progress bar as a measure of count of vote so the progress bar is going to show the uh, measure of count of vote so uh, this, like uh, the key uh, we'll have a table so then the key of the dictionary would be the uh, like the name of the language and the value would be in terms of the progress bar so let's get started with this so in the nav bar the first thing we are going to do is we are going to put a li class is equal to nav item okay and here anchor class is equal to nav link and uh, what what you are going to define result okay and we are going to define href tag refresh tag to the width hash result okay so we will define a result block below so this is the uh, about tag and and here you can see uh, you can also add the hr tag here which was missing okay now what we are going to do uh, this is a row okay so we have to define in the same way we have to define and this is a call md6 okay so in the same way we have to define this so what we can do so we can do in the same way div class is equal to row and then div uh, class is equal to call md uh, this time i would uh, since it is a table so i would define call md12 and now what you can do so we have a div of cla class call md12 so other things can be same so i'll move to copy this and quickly paste it here and id will be result and name will be result so and this would be result okay and okay uh, so uh, what we can type here we can type here result in terms of 
progress bar okay so result table so uh, so so let me check let's first check this if this uh, so here you can see here we have a result table so okay and we'll give it a different color and uh, this is bad bad success so we'll define batch warning okay so yeah now it's absolutely works fine and we would give a style is equal to uh, we can give style is equal to margin top of one rem so we can give a margin top of one rem so yeah now this looks perfectly fine so basically what i wanted to show you that result is table is going to be a big one so we will add a responsive table so we can we would also work on this or maybe okay we can do one thing let this be of six column and we have to define this in the center and we can copy the settings this settings so that would work fine so this would give a margin top rem and this would align in the center as well okay there there is some issue okay okay uh style okay this should be in the column okay sorry this should be in the column then i would fit now this looks absolutely work, works fine so what we are going to do so first we are going to uh, uh render the dictionary to the front end part so i'll show you how you can do this so this is a dictionary so what we can do we i would use a for loop for key comma value in uh, global count dot items so basically uh, i'm referring to both the item that is key and the value and then i would end this for loop by a uh, uh, person sign and again a person sign and now i would end the for loop and for okay a person sign then i can do i'll do uh like suppose this is the key then value value and then i would give a break so here you can see in the in this way we, i can print the dictionary so here you can see this is my key dash value then key dash value then key dash value so here i've got the key value pairs so we are going to work on this so i'll give you a uh, first then uh, this these are the tables these are the tables which were in the bootstrap so we have a responsive table so i'll show you uh responsive yeah so here it is responsive tables so these are the responsive tables so uh, we have this class diff class is equal table table responsive then uh, this is a table class is equal table so this gives us, us a responsive table so uh, we'll i'll add a table let me check one we will add the simplest one so this is the simplest table we can have uh okay so let me check where we uh, we have where we have to add this so this this is the result table okay now what we can do uh okay we can define okay we can define div class is equal to row then div class is equal to call md12 so i'm defining another grid for the table to keep it uh, uh, responsive so i've copy paste the table now i'll go to go back to my page and i'll refresh this so here you can see i've added the table and uh, one class i have to add in the responsive table is this one that is this should be above the uh, table class is equal to table so i'll uh, i'll move to the page so 
this is a table class is table and I have to add div class is equal to table responsive table responsive okay so this is this one is I have to add and I have to add add this div after the table tag so I have now I'll uh, what we can do we can do format document yeah this looks absolutely fine so I would refresh this page okay so here you can see the table is responsive when I press Control shift I so here you can see we can scroll the table so uh, if a table gets big so we can scroll the table so here we can see the scroll bar okay so uh, I'll catch up in the next tutorial uh, in the next one uh, we would add the uh, uh, like these are the static rows but next next time we are going to define them dynamically so I'll catch up in the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much